Some people's hobby is putting on makeup and some like to shop for clothes. I love to spend my free time making sweets. This is Sarah's Sweet Addiction. Hey everyone, welcome to Sarah's Sweet Addiction. As you can see, we're getting ready for Halloween here, which is my absolute favorite holiday of the year. Today we're gonna be making pumpkin spice cupcakes with cream cheese frosting, and we're gonna decorate them to look like little jack-o'-lanterns. It's super easy and I'm really excited about this one. So let's get started on that recipe. Let's make something sweet. For the full list of ingredients, tools, and tips, see the link for my blog in the description box down below. For our first step, we're gonna combine baking soda, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves, and salt into our bowl of flour, and then we're going to whisk to combine. After it's all combined, you're gonna set it off to the side. Next, we're gonna add our oil and our sugar into our stand mixer to combine. After we add them, it should take about a minute to combine them, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. And there we go, it's all combined. Next, we're going to add our pumpkin puree. You pour it right into the bowl, and then you mix it in the stand mixer until it's completely combined. After mixing it for about a minute on medium-low speed, we have a really nice, thick consistency, which is fantastic. Now we're gonna add in our eggs one at a time. After each addition of the eggs, you're going to mix until fully incorporated. Now that the eggs are combined, we're gonna add in our flour. You're gonna add the flour in in two batches, and you're going to want to make sure that you turn your stand mixer on low. I'm adding in my first addition right now, and I'm gonna turn it on. Now the second addition, adding it all into the bowl. And again, you wanna make sure to turn it on low. This is what your batter should look like. It should be a really thick, kind of deep, tanny orange color. And when you smell it, it should smell like fall. It smells really good. Now that your batter's complete, you're going to be adding the batter to the muffin tin. I'm gonna finish filling my muffin tin with my muffin liners. I chose an orangey muffin liner so that uh, it would match the theme. And now I'm going to spray my muffin liners with a little bit of vegetable spray to make sure that the batter doesn't stick to the inside. When you're using this, just make sure that you shake it first and then spray it into the muffin tins. Now let's scoop some cupcakes. I like to use an ice cream scooper when I'm scooping so that all of my cupcakes are the same size. After we finish filling all of the, um, the cupcake liners with our cupcake batter, we're gonna put them in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 425, and after we put our tin into the oven, we're going to immediately drop the temperature to 325. While your cupcakes are cooking in the oven, we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting so that everything's ready when the cupcakes come out. So into your stand mixer, you're gonna combine your cream cheese and butter, your vanilla, and your powdered sugar. After everything is in the mixer, you're just gonna turn it on and mix until it's very smooth and creamy. Here's your vanilla, and last but not least, your powdered sugar. One of the most important things when you're adding the powdered sugar and when, you're, when you actually turn the stand mixer on is that you start on low so that you don't end up with powdered sugar covering your kitchen. Everybody's in, and now I'm gonna turn it on. And there it is, our finished cream cheese icing. It looks so delicious. It's super creamy, smells just like cream cheese. It is so good. The only thing you have to make sure you do is resist eating it until your cupcakes are actually cooled so that you have enough icing to cover all of your cupcakes. As you can see in the back, my cupcakes came out. They're cooling right now. When they get to room temperature, then we'll take the icing and we'll cover the cupcakes. Now we're ready to decorate the cupcakes. So to get started, you're going to remove the wrapper on the outside of your cupcake because we want to make sure that when we cut into the cupcake after it's decorated that we don't have to eat around a wrapper. And before you place it on your plate, you're going to get just a little bit of icing from your bag and put it on the bottom or I'm sorry, on the plate so that you can put your cupcake on top of it. Just like that. That should keep the cupcake from falling off of your plate as you're decorating. Next, you're going to take your small spoon and you're going to cut out the middle of your cupcake so that you have some space to put frosting into the inside of the cupcake. You just scoop it out and it'll be a nice sized hole so that you can fill it with frosting. Just so you can see, it looks like this. Next, we're going to fill the hole in our cupcake with icing and then put a little bit of icing around 
the lip of that hole. So now I'm going to just smooth my icing around the sides of my cupcake. You're not gonna worry here about crumbs. If you get crumbs in your icing, that's okay. Here is the crumb coated cupcake. And now we're gonna move on to rolling out the fondant so that we can cover it. And then roll out your fondant to approximately five inches in diameter. That should give you plenty of space so that you can cover both sides of your cupcake and the top. When it gets to approximately five inches in diameter, you'll lay it over the top of the cupcake. And then you will lightly press on the sides, making sure that you're not pulling the fondant and that you're trying to keep it from having any creases in it. Here's our pumpkin covered in fondant. As you can see, it goes all the way around and there is a little bit of an indent in the top, which is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take that, that small spoon that we used to um, core our cupcake and we're just gonna press a little bit more in the middle so that we can really emphasize that indent in the top. And next, we're going to take our veining tool and we're going to make lines going all the way around the pumpkin. I'm gonna make eight so that it goes one on each side and then another line in between each of those. Here's our pumpkin now that it has all of its sections pressed into it. And now what we're going to do is put our stem into the top of it. So I'm going to just unwrap it and cut it in half using my scissors so that the size of the stem will be more appropriate for our cupcake. And then I'm going to take one half and just sort of mold it with my fingers. In order to put it into our cupcake, we want the bottom part of it to be a little bit pointy so that it goes into the cupcake a little bit easier. And to make it look a little bit more like a stem, we're gonna bend it over just a little bit. To make it go easier into the cupcake, we're gonna poke a small hole into the middle of the fondant up at the top, and then put our Tootsie Roll stem into the center. Now, we're going to make the face for our jack-o'-lantern. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit of the black, knead it a little bit, and then roll it out. Now that our fondant is rolled out, I'm going to use a star cookie cutter to make the shape of the eyes for our jack-o'-lantern. And then once I have the star, I'm gonna cut very small triangles out of the tips so that it'll fit nicely on our cupcake. I cut out eyes, nose, and a mouth for my pumpkin, and now I'm just going to attach them so my pumpkin turns into a jack-o'-lantern. You need to put just a little bit of water on your paintbrush and stick it to the back of one of your eyes and then attach it to your pumpkin. Here they are, our finished jack-o'-lantern pumpkin spice cupcakes. They turned out so great. They look really cute with their surprise, smiling, and scary faces. Perfect for Halloween. I just so happen to have a little bite of one of the cupcakes. So I'm gonna take a bite and see how it tastes. Wow, so tasty. Oh my goodness, it's kind of spicy, but not in the hot way and more like the fall way. And the cream cheese tastes really good with that spice cake. It's delicious. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you loved these jack-o'-lanterns as much as I loved making them. If you have any questions or requests, you can leave them in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can hit the subscribe button so you can see all of my future creations. You can also find me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. And always remember, make sweets. See you later.